Hey everybody, it's Jimbo and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Every program that runs on your Unix operating system gets assigned an ID number. The OS itself gets assigned an ID number. Every time you open up a terminal window and you start Corn Shell running on it, that will get its own process ID number. And if you open up a new terminal window, that new terminal window running corn shell will get its own process ID number also. This helps to keep things from getting confusing. So today we are going to look at how we can get the process ID number that is associated with our corn shell running. Okay, so we have corn shell running in this terminal window and we have set the prompt to be PS, excuse me, we have set the prompt PS1 to be equal to T1. And we have another terminal window open up. And we've set the prompt to be T2. Now, Corn Shell, in its wisdom, the person who wrote it, decided that he wanted to save that information of the process ID into a special variable. And the variable's name is dollar sign. So, you may remember to get the value from a variable, a corn shell variable. We put a dollar sign in front of the variable name, and in this case, its dollar sign is our name. So, we end up with two dollar signs. So, we say print space dollar dollar. And what that means is our variable is named dollar. And we have the dollar sign in front, so that means go to this variable named dollar and get the value from it and plop it down right where you see this dollar dollar. In this case, it's 44357. Let's go back to the other terminal window and run the same exact command. Print space. We want to get the value out of a variable, so we put a dollar sign in front and the name of the variable is dollar. And as you can see, 44326 and 44357 are different. So now we have a way to identify each of our terminals by their process ID.